Well, the Southern African nation of Mozambique has been rocked by months of violent attacks. The latest coming on Wednesday night when police say that suspected jihadists wielding knives and machetes killed five people in the Cabo Delgado northern province. The attackers targeted the Mamalucho village in the Quisanga district of uh, Cabo Delgado. Authorities say the province expected to become uh, the center of natural gas industry after several promising discoveries has seen a rush of assaults on security forces and civilians since October. Police believe the same group of assailants also perpetrated recent similar attacks, hacking seven people to death in, northern, in another village in the region of Tuesday, on Tuesday after beheading 10 people in another settlement on May the 27th. Mozambique last month passed an anti-terrorism law that punishes terror activity with prison sentences of more than 40 years. Well, the increase in the attacks in the north of the country could pose serious issues for Mozambique, which holds general elections next year and hopes to cash in on the recently discovered gas reserves. For more on the attacks, I'm joined by Amancio Miguel, a VOA Portuguese reporter. Welcome to Africa 54, Amancio. Thank you, Vincent. Now, first, uh, this looked like a very worrying kind of series of attacks. Uh, they have been associated with this group called Al-Shabaab. What more do we know? What is this group? This group, uh, initially, of course, there was this association with Al-Shabaab, uh, which is a way that local people uh, compare to uh, the atrocity that Al-Shabaab uh, uh, performs in other parts of Africa. So that's why people started calling them Al-Shabaab. So far, uh, they started the attacks in October 2017, and Al-Shabaab never claimed any of the attack. As you know, Al-Shabaab always claim uh, uh, the attacks, yeah. but in this case, they never claimed it. As of this week, uh, police authorities, they stopped calling this like Al-Shabaab. They call them like uh, common bandits. And they say, uh, as has been reporting at VOA, that the police says uh, they know the people. So now the question is, why can't you stop it after many, many many times promising to, to, to yeah. stop it. And, and, so and it's not very clear. How about why are they doing it? What, what are they taking? What, what is the motivation? Has it been established? One of the studies that we reported on uh, says that the reason, the main reason for these groups to be acting like this is because they see that their province, Cabo Delgado, is gauge, uh, gas rich. Uh, companies like Anadarko uh, will be starting in 2022 to export gas to many, many parts of the world. And they see their life has, has never, did not improve uh, since so, all so these projects. So they're behaving like uh, local militias who are trying to prevent uh, these big multinationals probably from coming in. Not really, but claiming, like uh, trying to discuss with the government that we need um, uh, our share in That's this right. in this resource that you're gonna get yeah. from the uh, the gas. Other group says that there are some local people uh, dealing with timber, uh, illegal timber export, and this group is also trying to protect, uh, distracting people from 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 the main issue, which is mm -hmm. uh, timber uh, exploration. So there are still so many studies going on, yeah. but so far. One of the uh, common points that comes here is like there's a lot of inequalities in, in Mozambique. You have a lot of young people uh, unemployed, and there is targets to be associated to terrorism. Anyone yeah. can just uh, uh, group them and start um, killing people like, like, like so they're, they're, do, they're, they're doing. Up to this point, what action has been taken by government? Well, the government since October uh, 2017, when uh, 5 October, yeah. uh, when it started, they sent like uh, police uh, and some people from the military to fight this group. And then they said within a month, this group will vanish. The reality is this group did not vanish. They're still attacking people. And people, according to the reports that we have, and then we've also been interviewing people, um, they don't trust anymore whatever the police are saying. And as we speak, they say many people are just running away from their village, seeking refugee in some areas they believe they are safe. So government response has never been 
uh, very very strong in so this uh, in this situation. Could this be leading then to speculation that perhaps the government could be behind it, trying to empty this place of uh, <coughs> excuse me civilians so that it can embark on uh, gas exploration and uh, actually, extraction? Actually, actually, that was one of the points that uh, yesterday I interviewed uh, a gentleman who is an expert in yeah. international relations and is also a member of the parliament from Renam Party. He said that perhaps the government is masterminding this. Uh, all this process in yeah. order to push out the population from that area so that they can still um, explore more more resources because uh, apart from gas there's also gems so they, they believe it, in that theory as well and yeah. it is fueled by the fact that the government is, is not giving people a clear uh, a solution to yeah. this situation actually they say like there are six people killing uh, killing so many people. So yeah, the question is, does it make sense? <laughs> if you know who, who, who are these people, yeah. so why can't you, yeah. can't you stop them? And then they've been, so far they've killed, in the past two weeks, at least 22 people yeah. they've been killed and more it than 100, 100 houses right. of poor anyway, people yeah. have been burned down. So there's a lot. Yeah, it's confusing. Uh, We'll keep watching this and perhaps we'll bring you back to tell us a little more uh, as the days go by. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amancio, for joining us today. And well, that's uh, Amancio Miguel, who is a VOA Portuguese reporter.